Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. As we journey through the Psalms, today we'll read through the Psalm 77. Psalm 77 is a psalm of lamentation. People of God, a time comes when people of God, because we still live in this world, we still live under the sun, will go through so many things that may lead even to cry and ask God questions. There are things that come of, that overwhelms us until the word of God speaks into our situation, until God speaks into our situation. At times, we become restless. But the word of God is our hope. Hallelujah. Psalm 77 is a pattern of lament. When we look through it, we see that the psalm is, that is, it is a psalm of Asaph. And it is real. When we are experiencing great trouble, we can follow the pattern of lament found in Psalm 77. First, we cry out to God with total honesty. Asaph uses strong, harsh, and full words like, I think of God and I mourn, overwhelmed and I'm too distressed even to pray. Have we ever dared to say something like that? Then he deliberately sets his mind on the things and knowledge of God and he says, but when I recall and I remember, he thinks who God is and what he has done in the past. Finally, he is, transpo trans he is transported into the attitude, to an, an attitude of praise and thanksgiving. So we see that after his lament, he realizes what God has done and what he's still doing. Sometimes we want to go immediately from trial to praise, forgetting that it is not the route of the sounds. First, the soul needs to lament with honesty, pouring out its hurt and grief then we need to turn our minds to dwell on the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Only then will we find authentic praise again. Na fe bra ye kra esun na edi e bobo e wien a fe ne ye kako nyan kopon so ne nukre die ne ne kese yen so. Hallelujah. Only then we will find authentic praise again. If we need healing in your spirit, if you need healing in your spirit, turn to these steps to help bring yourself back towards healing in an attitude of thanksgiving and praise to God. In this ayarisa and a washu shra, when you near semu, ayarisa a woman, and unti a bra, we dear bobo, and bring in a na, I said, you need a swore as sano. Yamia semu catcher yen say, and when you made your son so said, Danny qua ye ye, Danny caught and come for, Danny caught and ton ton, Danny caught as da, not that when you uncle pong, as Verses 10 and 11 are the turning point of the psalm. The writer was so discouraged that he wondered if God had turned against him. But then he chose to start thinking about all the wonderful things God did in the past. And it changed his outlook. First, 
na okai se unyame se on pao ye on jaye so. God does not ask his children to pretend to be something they are not or to be dishonest about their struggles. He encourages us to tell the truth about our distress and trouble, to give voice to our doubts and fears. But we should not stop there. We must go on to remember with praise and thanksgiving all the ways God has proved himself in the past. Hallelujah. Those memories and offering praise for God's great deeds give us hope for the future. Let our words show that we are weak and struggling people who choose to trust in a powerful and faithful God, even when all seems dark around us. It was young for and won't he say, Bray a woman, a young man, can so no, no, or a young more thing, name for us that a mano. When you come on count, not charge seven, please share the word and subscribe if you have not. Enjoy your week.